I predict that tomorrow. Hi, you. Hi. What you doing? I was just making a prediction about tomorrow because I looked at the weather mm -hmm. and it said it was going to be really sunny and really pretty outside. And I was thinking about all of the things that I like to do and things that I have done before when it's sunny and warm outside. Well, that's exciting. I have a whole list of things that I now know I can do outside because it's what we've been doing. That's exactly right. We've had to find lots of things to do right outside. Yes. In our front yard. And back. So I was actually predicting that tomorrow I would sit on my deck and read a book. What's that like? I love doing that. And Paisley sits in the chair next to me and we both get some sun with our sunglasses on. Paisley wears sunglasses. Oh. And we both read a book. <gasps> that sounds like so much fun. I may just have to join you. So I wanted to teach you. <gasps> You're going to teach me something? Yes. <laughs> about a word. A word. Yes. You're going to be able to add this word. It's a very fancy word. Into your back. Put it in there. Okay. Word. Okay, so this word is schema. <gasps> what? Schema. It's when you use your background knowledge for the things that you already know to make a prediction. So, background knowledge in my back pocket. Yes. Cool. So, use what I already know mm -hmm. to come up with a prediction. So kind of like if I were to say, I woke up, I brushed my teeth, I got dressed, I ate my breakfast, and I went on the yellow school bus, my prediction would be, I'm going to school. And what made you predict that you were going to school? Because it's all the things that once upon a time I did right. to go to school. That's exactly right. That is really cool. That's so really I, cool that you understood it that fast. I didn't know that that was called schema. I just thought that that was what I knew and what I'm going to do. I'm even going to show you how it's spelled. Ooh. It looks like schema. Ooh, that sounds like something that I ate the other day. But it's schema. Ooh, schema. That's so, so today we're going to talk about predicting. 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 Schema. Schema. Oh, so many words. I bet you're wondering what a prediction is. I predict you're going to tell me. I sure am. A prediction is a guess. Ooh. So can it be wrong? No, but should it be an educated guess? Well, if you're using your schema, it's going to be. A guess you make based off of clues in a text. Ooh. Pictures. Ooh. Or schema. Oh, that's so much fun. You know, I made some predictions the other day on a Mercy Watson book using everything you just listed. I used the words in the book. The pictures are so fun to look at. And Mercy Watson is a very similar character in some of her other books. So I used my schema to predict. Have you ever noticed in Mercy Watson books that when they have the page number, it's always in buttery toast? I so noticed that. That's so funny. You know, I was reading it the other day and it kind of made me want some butter toast. So did you have some? No. I predict that you didn't. <laughs> I did not. So we're going to make a prediction. Is that like, am I going to need some scissors and some glue and some crayons kind of making? Do you have your background knowledge in your pocket? Is it? Yeah, it's there. I see it. Yes. Okay, so you're good to go. That's it? Yeah. That's all I need. You'll be able to make a prediction. This one. This is, this is good. All right. You know what? You can even make a prediction when you're social distancing. Stop. Yeah. That's something you can do in your free time <gasps> by yourself. That's really cool. I can predict all kinds of things. Yeah. You could spend all day predicting. Whoa. And I'm never wrong. Right. <gasps> it's a like good this. feeling. I like not being wrong. So we're going to use evidence. From the text, and when I'm thinking text, I'm thinking like maybe what I wrote yesterday in our lesson. Oh, okay. Okay, so not just from a book, like things that I can write by myself. And your schema. 
Open your back pocket. Background knowledge. To make a prediction of what might happen next year. Woo! In third grade. Wait. They're going to third grade next year? Yeah. They're so grown up. And they're so smart. They're oh my goodness. all going to get to go to third grade. That just blew my schema out of my brain. Every single one of them gets to go to third grade. So proud of them. Can't believe it's already that time. I think, okay, that when they go to third grade, they are going to have amazing teachers. You thought they will. Mm -hmm. Because. Oh, 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 oh. I'm friends with Mrs. Ajala. I know Mrs. Brooks is very funny. She is. I know that, you know something I love about Miss Lila is that she loves structure, which is what I love. Oh, you kind of are alike. Yes. I know that Miss Eyre is so I know Miss Ted, Miss Keel is so much fun. She is. And I heard that Miss Kirk is so cool. She is very nice. Oh, that is so exciting. So they're gonna. I predict that they're gonna have a great teacher. I think so too. I think so too. Do you have a prediction? I do. You ready for this? I'm ready. I think. Our friends are going to have a wonderful third grade year. Yeah. Because Ooh, there's reasons. There are lots, but it came down to one really good one. Because they're so smart. Oh yeah. And have been working so incredibly hard. Oh this yeah. Year that they've got all the tools in their toolbox to have a wonderful year. Ooh. Oh, they have a lot Look of tools. Look at, see, all of them. Whoa. Yeah, just file away in there. Whoa. We don't want to close it up, though. We don't want anything to fly out. Yeah. So, that's a great prediction. My prediction is they're going to have a wonderful third grade year because they're so smart. All the tools in their toolbox, and they're such hard makers. They're so smart. And they're such hard workers. Did you see all the work that they've done? It's been amazing. Some of my favorite things are the things I've seen on the Padlets. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Or... The letters that they're writing, oh, those Mother's Day letters, those. they were so sweet. Phenomenal. They're doing great work. They really are. Even if it's on a computer. Yeah. They have been doing such great work and trying so hard. But remember how I just said that I love the work that's been on the Padlet? <sighs> yes. I was thinking. Okay. Oh. That they could make a prediction. Okay. A prediction. About next year. About their year. Yes. Their year so next they year. They can predict how third grade's gonna go using <gasps> a new choice from our choice board. My choice board! That is so exciting. I loved playing with this choice board. They could write a whole poem about their prediction of third grade. Oh my goodness. Or they could make a poster Ooh. and maybe, just yeah. maybe, me. okay. They can share it with their third grade teacher when they meet them. That's a great idea. Like on sneak peek day? Yes. Like, hey, look, I'm excited for third grade. That's a really great idea. Yes, we can save it. They could take a picture of it and then put it on Padlet and then tuck it away somewhere safe so that they can show their third grade teacher. That's such a good idea. Or we could create a game that's so fun. So like the start would be the beginning of the year and every single step they take maybe could be like another thing that they do. <gasps> that's a great idea. I'm like like a, maybe one of the steps on their game could be about changing classes. Ooh, because reading, math. Maybe another one can be their musical. Oh, I love how there's musicals each year. I think that would be so much fun. It sounds so much fun that I think I may want to go make one right now. Okay, well, I'm going to do Act It Out. I'm going to create a game. Bye! Bye.